We got NHL superstar. You played in the NHL for what, 13 seasons? Yeah, long enough, long enough, long enough for me. You're pretty much a social media influencer too. What else would you call yourself? I, I think of myself more as a blogger, really. <laughs> so I try to have fun. Well, we've had Marion Rivera on this show, everybody from John the Carlos closing. Stanton. Yeah. yeah, Jack Hughes, one of your former teammates. And now we got you, and you actually have the most followers out of all of them. So this is pretty okay. special. You ready to take a look at some of them? Sure, let's do it. I'm ready. Like I said, I asked you what you call yourself before, and I'm going to call you the man. Well, you know what? This is a tribute to the, a team that, first of all, traded for me, paid me a lot of money, supported my, uh, my social causes, my foundation. So, you know what? It's all about spreading love. And uh, very rarely can players, when they retire, return the favor to an organization. So, wanted to return the favor. Love it. And you look good doing it. And also, dude, throwback. I was a big, listen to me, uh, I was a big fan of the Nets growing up. Love Jason Kidd. So, I mean, I don't know what the, what the, what's going on with the hair, but as you can see, I, I had no forehead then and I still have no forehead now, so. And also too, so when you came to New Jersey to play for the Devils, you yeah. ended up settling down around here. Yeah. And here you are right here in uh, New York City, man. Nice little helicopter ride. Yeah, I live in the city. I enjoy uh, being in the city. And uh, one of the many perks of living in the city is the Hamptons isn't too far. And um, sometimes I'm balling on a budget. I guess that weekend I wasn't so much worried about the budget, <laughs> just enjoying with my friends and took the helicopter ride to the Hamptons. It was great. Big New York guy, I love yeah. it. So when you're not in a helicopter, is this what you're in? <laughs> nah, man. I mean, I've had that car for like five years. That was the first time I'd ever moved the vehicle myself. So uh, it, I drove it off the trailer and into another car housing place, warehouse in Toronto, and it's going to stay there. So I'm not a huge car guy. After moving to New York City and uh, driving this when you're over in Italy, <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't bring this back with you for the parking reasons. That was funny. You know what? A lot of my friends love this video. Um, and that was also <laughs> cool. Like, that car was going up like 30, 40 miles an hour, man. I was flying. Um, it was a little bit unsafe. I mean, there's, I don't know. I can't remember if there was a seatbelt in it or anything like that, but there was nothing cooler than that. Driving like through Italy in one of those cars, just chilling, no roof hanging out with your friends. It was, Italy's the best spot. Dude, the trip looks sick. It was. So when you get out of the car and you're, you're busting these moves, man, what makes you do that? Uh, well, we were on a winning streak. So when you're on a winning streak, you can pretty much do whatever you want. And, uh, you know, I thought the, hip, the hips look loose. So clearly I was <laughs> feeling great. All right, so uh, these skates that you have right here. Yeah. So our boy, he did Mookie Betts and a bunch of other big leaguers. Yeah. These are sick. Uh, like, do you still? Where do you have these inside the apartment? And also, too, like the NHL, that would be sick if they did this more. First of all, I've seen a lot of personalized stuff from fans, but I would love to see the players, um, you know, personalize more of their stuff. You know, you kind of see it with the NFL with the players' cleats; they get them personalized. They do stuff like that. It would be great to see the NHL do that. Um, you know, I've been lucky enough to be able to personalize my own pair. I did it, did it for the Winter Classic. Uh, in Boston and you know to think about it I played three years in Nashville and to have fans make things like that for me is pretty special so that was dope. Yeah so we're used to seeing uh, the baseball oh, players all Yeah so these are Aaron Judge's yeah. done by Lucian Footwear like and those. these are sick. Yeah those are sick. Uh, I'm a big fan. You know what's cool now is now that like I'm retired I can wear whatever sneakers I want so now I like I wear every type of sneaker and I'm most excited about wearing Jordans so you know, Nikes I love, like, you know, who doesn't like Nike shoes? I was an Adidas guy my whole life. Still love my Adidas, but Jordan brand, like, I wear Jordans every chance that I get, so. Dude, and Judges and Jordan guys, that's perfect. Hell yeah. So this is at the skills competition. You had a great seat, and if you could create something skills-wise for Major League Baseball, say, like, the Home Run Derby, what would you do? I'd like to take, like, the best, the best hitters in the league, the best pitchers in the league and put them in like a ring with like soccer boppers and just let them go at each other because every I love it when they when they storm the dugout and then they come out and everybody's getting in fights because the high pitches you know what at all-star just let these guys duke it out no one's getting hurt you know it's bragging rights just let them duke it out that's what I'd like to see dude that would be sick it'd be awesome and here we are so we talked about Jack Hughes before he was on yep. the show those are my homies those yeah are my boys. and he's always rocking Yankees gear man it seems like every picture's got a Yankees flat 
Well, I mean, listen, I could have a sit down with Jack and talk to him about that. I mean, you know, I'm a Blue Jays guy, so you know, Jack's Jack's from Michigan, so I don't know, I don't know exactly why he's wearing that, but plays in New Jersey, spends a lot of time, I'm sure, in the city and in Jersey, so he's allowed to. And he's he looks an, good in it. He's an influencer too, so you know what I mean. He can wear whatever he wants, wear whatever you want, Jack. <laughs> so this is a rope talks, right? So you've been great at your broadcasting. So can I get 10 seconds of a of a starter jacket talk about like why Aaron Judge is one of the best superstars in baseball? I think Aaron Judge is the man because first of all, Mike Prebag um, uh, is my chiropractor, and I know that he worked with the Blue Jays, uh, helped out with the Yankees a little bit, um, as well as Gil Chimes, and they speak very highly of Aaron Judge. Aside from everything he does on the field or in the locker room, I know that he's good people. So for that, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm, I mess with Aaron Judge for sure. And he's a Jordan guy. So for me, any athlete that gets to represent the Jordan brand in any sport means that, you know what I mean, you're playing above the rim. So play above the Aaron. Keep doing what you're doing. And the last one is a picture of you at uh, at the hospital giving back. So yeah. for everybody watching this, you can probably tell that PK is obviously a cool dude, but you have such a big heart. So how much does it mean for you to give back? Yeah, I mean, it's you know that that was my thing. I think that like everybody should you know try to give back when they have a platform. I mean, we'd love to see everybody give back, but for some people, it's not necessarily their thing, and not everybody has to give ten million dollars or or do as much work as some athletes do. I think you got to do something, and for me, uh, it's part of my family, the way that I was raised. You know, my, my, my dad's a principal, my mom raised five kids, both my sisters are teachers, my sister's husband's a teacher, so, you know, a lot of what our family does is work with kids, so for me, that's how I was raised, and uh, I feel like I've been blessed and given a lot of my life, so I try to give back as much as I can, and uh, I was presented an opportunity to be able to make a huge difference in not only some kids' lives, but families' lives. And I took it and I ran with it. And uh, every day, I know that uh, no matter, I don't have any bad days, bad days. I have challenging days, you know? So I tell people that uh, when you're able to make a difference in people's lives, uh, you have no idea how it can come full circle. Dude, amazing. So yeah. for everybody watching this, obviously you're out and about here at the NHL store with Starter. Talking to fans. Right now. Yeah, I gotta say, store's, store's awesome. lit. I don't know if I've ever seen a store like this. It's lit. So, we're gonna go check it out. And what is your favorite part about social media in general and events like this when you get to interact with the fans? And why should everybody follow you? Yeah, it's interaction. You know what? Um, social media is one of those things that some days you love it, some days you don't like it. But ultimately, it's what keeps us connected. And uh, you wanna be connected. And for events like this, for fans that aren't here, I mean, Take a look on social because there's some really cool stuff here. And for hockey, everyone always talks about, you know, us marketing the game and getting out there. Well, this is a part of it. You know, we're doing things traditionally different, but we got to get it on a platform where people recognize it. But people got to be looking for it as well. You heard the man himself, my man, PK Subban. Thank you so much for hopping on the feed, brother. Thanks, bro.